This is very interesting. Russell Prue has been doing radio at BET. BET's a technology education show uh, in January. And it, 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 it's not on FM or anything. It's, it's, it's just broadcast within the uh, Excel area. And then it's on online later. But he, he, he treats it all as if it was live radio. And... We, we, we take a little bit of it into the Wild Show. So it does go out in Exeter, but I, I don't think there's other radio stations so, so far doing, doing that. Um, but he's, he's gradually breaking down what radio is, I think, or it's happening around him, but he's not, he hasn't made a clear statement about this, I don't think. Um, so, for example, he's doing podcasts... But the podcasts are also on YouTube, so they're more or less um, bits of bits of sound, but bits of video. Because he does it, he does a live presentation, or vi you can well you can see the cameras on him as he's talking, and um, then he's he's tweeting about the fact that a school doesn't have to have a complete studio; all they need is a, a good microphone and a web link and he can add things somewhere else including jingles and i don't know i don't know what else because i i tweeted to him this is as me will 789 gb but this has all been repeated on we not know um is this a studio in the cloud sounds interesting is what i i said and he said it isn't but i am will all done using Streamyard virtual studio same environment that i use to record my youtube videos excellent audio quality into my mixer at hq he doesn't explain what that is but he's got some sort of kit jingles added then broadcast live broadcast live but russell it's all been recorded earlier it's, a, it's announced to the world for the first time, let's put it that way, on learnradio.net. I'll repeat that, learnradio.net, for parents to enjoy live. Well, yes, they, they, it's live radio as far as they're concerned. But I just think it's all getting very complicated, and um, it still may be a bit fake in January, but I'd like, I'd like to hear more about this. And also see how it relates to universities, because they they're doing uh, lecture capture, but there's other ways of describing it. The um, the digital humanities lab in Exeter has got a lot of equipment, um, which would it could be represented as a radio studio, except it's got video cameras in it as well. Um, so if there's something they would value enough to record it that that could be quite interesting so i th i think there's there's a discussion around radio which we don't really know well this is this is the we don't know show um we we we, we we've concluded because we're not quite sure about getting into the studio at the correct times that um time shifting is important to radio and putting bits and pieces on YouTube is important, and it's also on Mixcloud. And I, I guess most of the studios that Russell knows about around Bet are much the same. But how it all fits together, and what how you describe it, and whether the campus will follow the same route as the big label studio, we don't know. But we'll try and check this out during during next year. Uh